it guys welcome back to the channel I would like to first thank everybody who watched previous videos I really appreciate it thumbs up to all of you guys and everybody that subscribed if you want to be entered into winning your own merch then just click this button down below and hit the subscribe button it's very easy it's free and just do that so let's get on to this video see previously we took out the engine in the previous video there's a link up above and today we're going to focus on cleaning up the engine bay taking out everything that we're not going to need dropping the subframe because the subframe has been an accident with this vehicle and the subframe is cute so that is um that's a concern but we are getting a new one and taking out the front diff not going to need that i might have sourced an engine some guys would like it some maybe not so this is what it currently looks like well, I said it's been in an accident. You can see clearly that this is much further away than this side, about 10 millimeters. And somebody has cut a hole in there for the steering to be able to turn. So, to take out the subframe is not too complicated. Probably the diff will be the most complicated, but it's just all on by bolts underneath. And then we'll also be taking out this AC receiver dryer system and all these. AC pipes will be taken out. Um, the wiring harness, not to worry about it too now. I'll probably take it out later or cut it, or I'm not sure yet, depending on the motor that we're going to use. Speaking about the motors, I want to show you what this previous motor looked like. <laughs> I don't think it's really going to be worth trying to save it, it's going to cost too much. So, they put all these parts into my trailer that I took out. So, first off, the bat. Look at this gearbox, look at this wheel on the gearbox. But that's not gearbox wheel, that's motor wheel. And then it's come all the way back. As you can see on the top of the motor, also wheel. But mostly what concerns me is this piston's it's missing a piece. Now that doesn't look like a blowout. That looks like maybe a seat valve dropped. So I'm going to start by jacking up the Jeep, removing the wheels and then go from there. Okay, so after removing this wheel, this is kind of scary. Check how thin these discs are. But then you put new brake pads in. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, but anyways, okay, gonna replace the discs. That's a no-brainer. So next up, we'll be removing control arms and then the subframe hopefully. So all I have left to do now is to remove this bolt for the steering and remove the bolt on the other side of the subframe 
and uh, then I'm going to use my engine waste I want to use a jack but I think that's going to be dangerous with the weight of a diff and steering rack and all that so I'm just going to use my engine waste to lower it down safely and then I'll just be able to move it out Okay, so I encounter a problem. Um, I first need to take off this way bar to get access to these bolts, and that's how you learn. Let's quickly remove this sway bar. So now for the moment of truth, will it go down, all the bolts are loose, I'll see if there's anything else that's holding it up, but let's see if it goes down. Okay, so the subframe is out, next I'll be just taking off the steering rack and the low control arms. I will leave it diff in because I am swapping this unit for another unit and I don't need that. So let me take off this steering rack.
stuff frame is out, everything is out. I'm going to just take out all these aircon pipes, the aircon dry receiver, and just tidy up a bit so we can prepare for our new engine. Speaking of a new engine, I would like you guys to comment in the comments below what do you think is a new engine? I'll share a picture, but I won't show you everything. Tell me in the comments below what you think is the engine and if you think this is going to be a good engine for this build. So let's take off all these echo pipes. This is pretty much that for this video. If you like what you see and you want to win some DDJ merch for free, please hit the subscribe button down here below. So please keep safe and we'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.